big sweat, 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 sweat. Oh my goodness, bro. This is everything. This is everything. Look at this juicy spot. Well, we've created a problem for ourselves now. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How's it going? Welcome back to another stream here on the Pokestables channel. Thanks so much for joining me on this beautiful Sunday morning. What a day to come, chat. What an amazing day we have planned here. It's going to be absolutely incredible. We are playing a ton of poker tournaments today. Highlight is going to be the Millions Online main event, 1K buy-in, coming up on Party Poker this afternoon. So all in all, things are great. Uh, very excited to play the Party Poker schedule. So we're setting up for a pretty big day, you know? <laughs> um, obviously hoping that uh, things go well and we can spend uh, all that time, but uh, let's get it. Uh, pretty big raise. I mean, almost 4x here. Still, I think, like, too tight to fold, but... It's an abnormal sizing for sure, you know? We see this and we we got to be like, whoa, what is that? I think it's abnormal. Continue with the gutter. Nine. Jack is okay. Pick up a pair. We definitely skew the range a little strong though, right? With their really big raise pre. And we're probably pretty indifferent here in theory. Yeah, we still call. I think second pair at a gutter, getting quite a good price in position. We probably need to call. And now we got another tough spot, dude. Pre-flop. Flop's not that hard. Pre-flop, turn, and now river if we see a bet. I mean, just all the tough spots, man. Uh, do we bet? No, we check. Especially with the range they're representing, they're saying that they have a, a strong hand, a two pair or whatever, so. And queen jack, raise call. Cover for a bounty here. Um, we wanna play, the question is do we wanna squeeze and then just get it in for 30? Or just call, probably just call with queen jack off. Check in the flop. Yo, Wisco, I'm glad to hear it, man. Cheers, glad you're liking the stream, thanks for checking it out. And if you need an account on Party Poker, check out the link below the stream if you need to you don't have an account with us yet and you're gonna get back into it uh try it out man but yeah cheers all the best dude and, and thanks for checking out the stuff glad it could be of some help to you i mean i don't know like this is too sin chippy v but like the extra money in the pot from this like we go for it <laughs> and hope we just get hero called here basically i don't like block betting because this 250 dollars for one quarter of a stack is just a big incentive so hopefully they put us on a bluff here like this is obviously a really thin value bet with queen jack right it's very thin we can even get called by, like, tank called by King Queen worse here, you know, probably. But hopefully they find the call with whatever. You know? Queen Queen 8 suited finds the call. Uh, hopefully Ace-9 is just like, I don't believe you, I call. We flop a set against a very aggressive player, Sylvan loosely. Um, just so frequently raised here. Sylvan is aggressive, though. I'm going to call because of my opponent. I wouldn't typically call here. I mean, I think raising is good. But I kind of want to allow Sylvan to do stuff. Check raise the river. Just because I respect their game. I mean, they're just really good, I think, at poker. We have four bet fold here. We call 10 8 7. But the thing is, now with the bounty, we flop an open ender. So I think it's just a bet call now. Uh, which is kind of wild, but yeah, flop an open ender. So even against over pairs, we have up to 10 outs if our sets are good. You know, against jacks, we have less than that. Uh, against queens. Queens, kings, aces, we're doing well. Against ace stand, we're doing fine. Here it is. Good luck. <laughs> Here it is for the bounty chat. Oh my goodness, we're ahead of king eight. Wow. Let's go. Come on, baby. 250 bounty coming our way. I think check raise is the right approach with aces here. Uh, obviously worried about king queen, right? Reasonable hand for them to have, calling in this position and then betting. Uh, still a lot of the range that is not king queen or sevens or threes though, so we're still feeling pretty comfortable. Uh, they jam. I don't think all of those hands are going to jam on this turn either, so I feel pretty comfortable calling, especially getting this price. So good luck. Bottom set. Uh, right price to continue. This is really strong, three betting out of the big blind, but nonetheless, we can just make a set. And we do. Awesome. Okay. Now we hope that they have aces with the ace of spades. The endless optimism is starting to get tested. Yeah. Not going so well today, the endless optimism. I think just call. I mean, I don't think there's any turns that are super problem. Gotta remember we got squeezed, right? So it's a squeezing range. 
It's not like there's a huge amount of 8x or 6x or like so many flush draws that we have to fold the turn with the top set. Can they just call and let them continue bluffing with their two over cards and continue value betting with their over pairs and go from there? Same thing, call, call, I think. But we need to take quite a bit of time before we call in this spot because we need to represent that we don't know what to do with like eights or sixes or fours or like king jack with diamonds or something like that, right? Like we can't, we don't want to rush this one as if it's an obvious decision because we're trying to represent all of the hands that are really close against a small sizing. And what do we do basically? Beautiful. Against aces. 2.2 million. I love that with my heart and my soul. Definitely some checks, but I like betting this time. And at the stack depth, I quite like it. And with this hand, I'm definitely going to check like ace-8, ace-6, ace-5. Maybe not ace-5. Ace-6, ace-8, ace-9. I like checking. Ace-10, I like checking a bit more than ace-queen. But I like this uh, I like this hand enough to bet. We see a bad turn for our hand and our range. So let's check back. I hope things improve or we get a free river. It would be really nice. Okay, you know what it's time for, chat? It's time for the, the squat and play. So the squat and play, get some circulation going. Get the sumo squat in. Oh, Woo, sheesh. Check here. Oh, this is not fun. I don't like this. I don't like this feeling. Okay, that's it, that's it. It was a deep squat too. It wasn't easy, it was not easy, man. I'm off for the rest of the day. <laughs> uh, check it out, happy to with ace high, cool. B4-6, nice, in the 1K. Fours, we're gonna defend in the big blind. Another check. What kind of chair do you use? I use a Herman Miller slash Razor, or no, slash Logitech collab. I forget the name of it, but yeah, Herman Miller slash Logitech uh, gaming chair setup. Uh, it's nice. I had a Herman Miller Air on before this, and it was good. I really like their chairs. They're comfortable. It's it's a pricey chair though. Like it's definitely a bougie chair. I would definitely want to write it off on the taxes. I think it was like a thousand bucks or so, twelve hundred bucks maybe. I just went to an office store before and tried some out and bought one for two hundred bucks, and that was good too. So I think got some options that way. You don't have to go super high end, but for me, it made sense. I think how much time I spend here, you know. Sorry, Jamie, wrong question before. With what hands would you three bet? Don't take ace, ace, king, king. And so into consideration, what small pairs, what other hands? Don't mind stack size and position. Well, stack size and position is everything with that question, right? What's up, King Three Off? How are you, man? Ran fairly similar to you so far since I finished work. Looking forward to the grind over the next few days. Are you jumping in the 162, 109 tomorrow? Hope to catch you on the fell. Much love from the UK, bro. Thanks, man. I'll probably play tomorrow. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, decent chance I'll play tomorrow. What do we have in the millions tomorrow? We have a 162, 8 max, a 536 max, and a 109, 7 max, and a 215, 6 max turbo. Beautiful. Nice schedule. Nice and clean. Uh, I'm going to go for a bigger bet here. I like that. I like that schedule. So I'll probably play. Think about time. Let's go, Paleo Chris. Come on, man. Let's go. We play our aces in the 1K Millions online KO main event. 1 million guaranteed. Can we get a squeeze from the legend Patrick Leonard, bro? Come on, pads. Look at this juicy spot. Oh. Check raise. Uh, I like bet with this hand better. Reason being, I think that we're a little bit deep. Seven stack to pot ratios back or six and a half or whatever to check raise and then find our way to get it all in on the flop. So I think betting is going to play a lot easier. One Desto, I primarily play on party poker. There's no HUDs on party poker, so I don't have one set up for other sites. That's why. Joshua McCulley is in second place of the tournament, by the way. We raise and then crying call against Renan Carlos, right? And they shove for 18 blinds, but with one and a half bounties. But they fold. So I'm just preparing myself for the worst. Martin Riest calls. And Papa folds, 9-3-3. Three, three. Pretty reasonable flop for fours. 
So I, if I bet here, I need to bet call, like call a check raise, you know, I'm going to bet. I feel like sometimes we check with this hand and sometimes we bet. I can see pros and cons to both sides. I do have a lot of hands that have missed on this board, you know, straight up missed. Eight changes nothing about this board and they don't have any 3x in the range. So we call again because this is repping a really narrow range on the double barrel here. And now we just have a full house. So now I hope they have ace nine, <laughs> right? Or like slow played aces would be cool too. Pretty unlucky for Martin. We will take it 3.4 million. I have been doing work with the one and only Ben CB from Raise Your Edge. And we developed a course where we take one of my tournament runs. We go really in depth into a bunch of topics. We have over 10 hours of footage. I ask him the questions that I think are going to provide the most value, which is why I think I'm the best student that could possibly be in this series. You know, it's just so jam packed with value. It's just great. Thanks for checking out the course. Yannick opens, call. Good flop. Nice combo draw, 10 high as well. What are you gonna bet, Yannick? It's a bigger bet size I'm just gonna call, I think, against a smaller one I'm gonna raise. What I don't really wanna do is raise and get jammed on, but that doesn't happen often. I think I can bet turn, maybe not the best hand to bet river as a bluff though. We have a lot of candidates and with this hand, if we don't hit our hand, we will block both straight and flush draws with our 10 deuce of diamonds. And you've got to think our range is wide here. So I give up the story. It's going to be a 500k plus day when it's all said and done. I like the plan. Why not? Why not us today? Ace King. In our 1k millions online main event, Joshua raises three bets. Three bets going in. Not a lot of great stacks to like induce a squeeze or anything, you know? Uh, everyone's kind of deep and like, yeah, the, we'll get squeezed sometimes, but it's not like a slam dunk spot or anything. Insta four bet. So fast. So, so, so fast. Calling or jamming. Both are fine, but I feel like we probably prefer calling a little bit. I mean, we're ace-king suited in position here. It's nice. We can just shove too. There's no question on that, but yeah, I think call is better. So let's do that. Six, six, nine. Okay. They bet 400,000, we call, 450 maybe, and we call and then turn, 380, even better. Seven on the turn, mm. not a great turn, could have dealt with a spade, you know, ace or king, of course, deuce, a little better than a seven, picks up a few hands our opponent can bluff with right on this turn, uh, check, check, it's fine. Five, check, check, hope we win against ace, jack, suited, against Ace Jack offsuit against King Queen off. Well, oh, sort of hands that are gonna four bet. Nice, King Queen. I think just like squeeze and then fold to Cedric is not the end of the world, you know? And if Ramon comes over the top, we're priced if we call. If we get a flat, that's fine. If we get a flat here from Louise, that's fine too. I think that's all okay with me. And it's a four bet jam from Cedric and we fold. Sad times. Call the minish bets. No, not the 10. Not the 10. Man, it's a fold, man. It's a fold. It's so sick. Ace four, we open, get jammed on. That's a big bounty. We need about, I would guess like 9% less equity here than normal. No, we're not getting a very good price. <laughs> it's 45% or something. So maybe 37% or 38%. Do we have it with ace four against this range? Like not quite, but pretty close, pretty close. This is pretty good, pretty good hand. I like playing this one. Uh, do I want to squeeze fold to Louise though? Not really, but I think I should play. I can call and then they squeeze and we fold, but like queen jack suit is just so good, you know? So we squeeze, if they get it in, fine. If they re-jam, fine, we fold, but like, I think this is okay. You want to win? Take some risks. Well, at times, we got time, dude. Like I said, we've been playing 10 hours. This one will be probably 22 hours. Like, you've got time to take risks. It doesn't have to be every hand, you know? Relax. Find the right spot to take risks. This is much better. We can call with Queen Jack. Go to a flop of Queen 7 4. Check raise small, I think, probably. With 
king eight of clubs and king six of diamonds also queen jack and king queen and some queen ten you know and sets like it's a small check raise range but it has some good and bad hands in it you know and i think probably our check raise bluffs are going to be king x with backdoor flush draws king five king six of clubs hearts diamonds and then next up would be like king eight king nine of clubs hearts diamonds Cedric, three bets. We want to play against Cedric here. Four bet is fine. Call is fine, too. I think we're going to call. Well, we've created a problem for ourselves now. <laughs> Second pair, backdoor flush draw in a three bet pot. Yeah, it's just a bit of a tough situation we have on our hands. Half pot. Wow. Huge bet. Really, really big. I think we need to call. Without the backdoor flush draw, we have a discussion, I think. But uh, yeah, I think we have to call. Our hand has not gotten that much worse. I mean, maybe connects a few hands that Cedric can have that now have gotten better, but like not many and not often. It's not in their standard three betting range. Definitely fold now to the barrel. I think what I want to do against these two is just three bet call probably. Although jam is just an option here too. Uh, I don't know what I want to do in this spot. Jam. Uh, heart. Big sweat, 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 sweat. So we don't have the right stack to squeeze here. We can jam ace five, right? But I don't love that. Under the gun, under the gun two, or I guess MP. So we just flat with ace five suited on the button and uh, have other moments we can get up to um, wild times. Check. Pairs, king, x. Nah, need to bet. Need to bet. You just think about like, what our range looks like here. We have a lot of it that's actually pretty connected to this. And I'd rather bet ace five than like sevens probably. You know what I mean? In which case we need to bet small. Cheap, right? So we need to survive through eight more, by the way, in this 1K to make it. I would say this is bubble, right? Yeah, we're within 5%. So this is kind of bubble times too. We don't have a great stack or anything, but... Yo, Verit 40 e good luck, my friend. In 18th in the melee, nice. Uh, good luck, my friend. Except against me. Some small bets, some big bets. I like small bet with this hand and that it's bad enough to small bet. Like our hands that have a little piece, you know, have a spade or something. I like big betting more. This one is pretty bad. Check. Give up. Uh, we have a few suited connectors in the middle there that we could choose to bluff with, but... Make day two in the $530 scoop uh, Sunday million. Good luck. Hello, my brother. Niles Jerif Jal from Sweden is Poker Pro. Nice. Right here. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Good luck to them. Except against me. Igor, flip for 2.7 million. Important pot. If you make day two, you're in the money. This is kind of a money bubble sweat here. Let's go. Big, big hold, baby. Let's go. To be fair, we're only in 31st after that double up, but still. You chip in both of these remaining, will you go to the cash table to spin it up? No, I'm two times, bro, I'm tired, man. 11 hours in, that's it. I'm gonna finish up this stream, make dinner, read a book, go to bed, see you tomorrow. That's the plan. That is the plan. Fear and loathing in Las Vegas, little dinner and sleepy sleep time. This is interesting, honestly, because you need 9% less equity here than normal. And they jam for 13 blinds. I think this is a call, queen 10. But uh, Niels takes away the opportunity, so we fold now. I was going to call with Queen 10 hearts, but I think it's the right price. The nuts, we're down to 37 left. King 10 is pretty good. I think uh, limb calling is cool. I'm able to personalize my avatar on Party Poker Ontario. I don't know the answer to that, Fungal Wizard. There should be a support but button in the bottom right hand corner of your um, clients, and that will tell you. You can ask them, and they'll tell you. I think it's 24 hour support as well. You have a lot of support options, so. Yeah, for the king 10 now. Oh my goodness, bro. This is everything. This is everything. This is it, chat. This is our moment. Everything we've worked for today, everything we've fought for comes down to this. Kings on the bubble of the 1K millions online main event. 1 million guarantee. Do we go through with a fel filthy big stack of 5 million with a nice double up here? Do we go home with heartbreak against a flopped ace? Let's see. 
You're doing Jamie scale of 1 to 10, how withered? Um, like a 5. I'm withered, but I'm in a good mood and not annoyed from bad beats or anything. Like, we fought hard today. Oh, it looks like we will lose to the flop days. However, we don't have to lose here, chat. We don't have to lose here. Um, I still think we go for a small bet. We raise in the hijack. They call in the small blind. Yeah, they have a decent amount of ASEX, but we also have a large portion of our opening range is ASEX here. I would guess our range has a small advantage here, is my thinking. I could be wrong on that, but I think so. We'll just check check on the turn with our kings, which, you know, if we're going to get called by a worse hand, it's only on one street. It's not on multiple. And then we get a bet of 650, and we just fold. The sort of hands we want them to bluff are like king, queen, king, jack, king, 10. The flow flop, we have kings. You know, it's not, it's not a thing. So we fold. Two million. A6 suited. I think it's a good open here. I think it's a good open, but Louise can change that for us. Good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Oh, what a dream, dude. A65. I think we actually bigger bet on this board texture. So I'm going to go for it. I like it, especially with the turn shove possibility. Okay, take it down to 2.3 million. And we have tens, bro. This could be our demise. Tens, I think, are a hand worth gambling with in the bubble here, especially as people are going to play aggressively against us. So I think it's a hand worth risking. Probably, you know, if it goes three bet, four bet, then I don't think so. Let's see what happens. I guess just a three bet. I think a four bet is the way. But let's see what happens behind, yeah. I think we've got to risk it here, chat. We are 32 of 34, two off the money bubble, but tens are really quite good. And we're going to get three bet against aggressively here. Okay. Uh, Good luck. GG, 250 bounty, but uh, unfortunately we're going to bubble the 1k.